ago, I posted a video on American versus Korean skincare, and you guys loved it, so today I'm coming to you with the makeup one. There are so many differences on how Americans and Koreans do their makeup, and I'm really excited to share with you guys my take on it. And at the end of this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts on which makeup routine suits you best, American or Korean. And of course, if you guys want to see more makeup routines like this one, more versus videos, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos, and also we can hang out every single week. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Let's start with the eyebrows. To fill them in, I'll be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Medium. On the American side, the brow is more angled, sharp, and usually has a higher arch. However, on the Korean side, it's much softer and more natural. The arch isn't as high and looks more like a straighter brow. I would say the brows are a big difference in American Korean makeup because it totally changes the shape of the face. To prep for eyeshadow, starting on the American side, there's always primer first. Here I'll be using Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion, mostly to help keep eyeshadow on the lid and to really bring out the colors. Using my fingers, I'm going to gently apply this onto the eyelid area. Then for shadow, on the American side, I'll be using Gigi Hadid's West Coast Glow Palette in Warm. Taking this peachy shade, I'll be applying this all over as the base color. Then, taking this darker purple shade, I'll be applying this closest to the lash line for a bit of a smoky eye. Then using in the same collection, the liquid eyeliner to create a wing. I'm in love with this liner because it just has the sharpest and clean lines for that amazing wing. Now I'm going to curl the lashes and then apply Benefit's Their Real Mascara. This is also one of my favorites to give long, luscious lashes without the clumps. Following that, it's time for strip lashes. On the American side, I find lashes is a must. These are Huda Beauty's Camille Lashes in number 16. And to finish this off, I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line with the darker shade I used earlier. Back to the Korean side, I'll be using Huda Beauty's Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette and using Desert Sand for the base. Then taking Saffron, I'll be applying only in the outer corners as this is a Korean trend where they apply a reddish shade to look more like dolls. It's very subtle, but the purpose is to make you look younger and more youthful. For eyeliner, I'll be using a black gel liner from Marcel. A great tip for applying this is to actually lift your eyelid up gently with the end of another brush so you can get really close to the lash line. I learned this tip from a Korean makeup artist, Sayan Wool Jung, and I'm so happy to have learned it. It's made my life really, really easy when it comes to applying eyeliner. This liner is more subtle and goes along with the natural shape of your eye. Now taking a flat brush, I'm going to smoke the liner just a bit to make it more natural, then on to curling the lashes and mascara on top. Going back to the American side, I'm going to start contouring the side of the face using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Cafe under the cheekbones, sides of the nose, and top of the forehead. Taking a beauty blender, I'm going to blend this all in. Contouring, I find, is huge in America, and using bronzer is also a big thing as well. Here I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer to really define the areas I just contoured. And of course, you can't forget about highlighter. Using Benefit's High Beam, I'm going to apply this under the arch of my eyebrow, the tops of my cheekbone, tip of the nose, and a bit on the chin. Then taking my blender, I'm going to gently pat this stuff in. For the Korean side, it's much more simple. We're just going to be using blush. I'm going to apply Maybelline's Fit Me Blush to the apples of the cheeks. A great trick I learned is to pat it in circles for a very natural flush in the cheeks. Lastly, the lips. On the American side, I find matte lips and a bit overdrawn is a popular trend. I'll be using Cargo Swimmable Longer Liquid Lipstick in Cape Town. This is actually one of my favorite matte lipsticks. I just find the color is just perfect for my skin tone. Over on the Korean side, I'll be using Pixie Beauty's Matte Luster Lipstick in Rose Naturelle to create this look of natural pouty lips. Gloss is also highly used in Korean makeup, so here I'll be using Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Lip Booster to add some shine. And now we're done. American versus Korean makeup. It's so fun for me to create these looks because the concept of beauty differs from country to country. The diversity between us is what I find makes us all beautiful. So what did you guys think? Do you think I suit more American or Korean makeup? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so we get to hang out every single week. I love you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.